Hey guys, welcome to the Solution Architect channel. Um, I've just opened Visual Studio Code. So in this video today, what we're going to do is create a very, very simple web API. I'm not sure if I've done this in the past, but I just want to create really a quick video, simple video, uh, and let's, let's get going. Um, when you open Visual Studio Code, you open your terminal, and um, I've already opened my terminal. Um, and then go to my F drive. You can go to any drive you want to. Um, I'm just going to go to my folder and my projects folder. I think it's projects. Um, yeah. And then make a directory. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it simple uh, web API and then cd simple web api um, and what i'm going to do now is just really really keep it simple let's create a net and you need to make sure that everything is installed so so look at one of my previous videos if you want to make sure that your net is installed correctly on visual studio code i'm not doing that in this video um, just look into my one of my my first videos that i made um, it's new web API. So that will just create a simple web API um, out of the box um, with, with just one controller that you can test. Okay, now it's created this successfully. Um, there's many ways of opening the code. I'm just going to open the folder um, where it's situated. Um, it's under projects, simple web API. Um, just open the folder there. And you'll see you've got a, a few files here. Your settings, JSON file, app settings, program, .cs file, your project file, and startup. What I usually do, uh, just go back to terminal. What I usually do here is uh, run .NET restore. Okay, so just quickly, so it created a uh, default controller for you, values. It will just display these values if you run a simple get. Um, so I'm going to open a SOAP UI. I've got Postman as well, but I'm going to use SOAP UI today for this demo. Um, and in SOAP UI, you can download this for free. It's an open source um, where it actually tests your your um, APIs for you. Uh, this is a RESTful API. What I need to do, obviously, I need to run this. So I'm just going to press F5 to run it. Okay, that's going to fail. So uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you right now why. And I'm going to leave this in the video, so because uh, you might uh, get the same problem. I cannot use port 5000 uh, on my on my PC, so and that and that is what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to now change. So what what Visual Studio has done now is just what is my application running? It's a .NET Core application, so choose you just choose uh, .NET Core there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this quickly. Go to programs.cs. So you need some sort of um, API um, engine that will um, host your URL and run your URL for you. Um, and I use uh, Castrel for that. You know, in, in, in Linux, it's Apache or Nginx or Nginx or whatever you, how you call it. And it needs to root to some sort of directory. So this is quite important if you don't, if you don't get this um, Use content root directory dot uh, get current directory. And then uh, I'm going to change use URLs to point to uh, HTTP. Okay, so, so 
yeah, okay, that will work. Um, now, my default is uh, localhost, but um, the port I'm going to use is 5001. Uh, you can you can actually put in any port here, 5002, 5003. Um, but yeah, 5001 should be available. So I'm just going to quickly then F5 again, run this. Diva console, you can actually see if it's running or not. Okay, now you can see this is running. Application has started and it, it listens on that port there, 5001. Um, so what I'm going to do, go to SOAP UI. Okay, we're in uh, in SOAP UI, so I'm going to open Endpoint um, Explorer. And then uh, we're going to put in our URL here. It's uh, HTTP slash slash localhost. Um, and the port we use is 5001 slash API. And our... Um, it's called values. That, that's our controller name. Uh, you don't put in the controller last name. You just in, put in the, the first uh, the name of the controller called values. Send, and that will bring back value one and value two. Um, and that that is what you which, what you see in our. Let's go to. That's what you see in your controller coming back value one and value two. Okay, so we want to make it a little bit more complex. Um, so I'm going to create a, not too complex. Um, we're going to really keep this simple. Like we call it simple controller. Uh, that needs to be uh, .cs, sorry. And I'm going to just copy the everything from this over. Just being a little bit lazier, just make it um, easier. Make sure you've got all your curly brackets in there. Um, and then the, this is just your first um, test here. Why is it giving me that? Um, okay. I'm not going to worry too much about that right now. Um, so let's write some code here. Let's say uh, public uh, first. I'm really slow today. As we get, um, and we're going to get a specific parameter we're gonna send the parameter through let's call it name on our parameter public action result and let's return a string or get uh, string we pass through name and I'm gonna add add a string to the name you'll see what I'm doing right now is so I'm gonna do some if statements here so if name dot let's say two lower because then you can type in uppercase, uh, lowercase, whatever. So just say, okay, bull. If name dot um, is bull, then add string. Okay, and then let's do an else if let's say John. Uh, make it lazy, copy paste. Uh, 
and then if we don't understand the name let's do this and say okay anything else comes through um, Okay, and then return um, add string plus name dot to upper. Okay, okay. Um, no, we need to change this to say simple. Otherwise, we have a duplicate. So this is simple controller. Remember, this is what you're going to call just simple. That, that name there. Okay, let's um, run it, press F5, and then we're gonna open SOAP UI. Okay, I'm back in uh, SOAP UI, and let's open our endpoint, and this one, HTTP, um, localhost, local post, local host, local, local host, port 5001 api um, and simple so if i just run uh, simple one that should actually just get yeah see that it works and now if i want to send a name i just send bull okay i had a little error and i know what the problem is um i want to show you so i'm going to cut this in is uh this needs to have a um, curly bracket around um, that um, name attribute that we, we put on the get there. So I'm going to run this again. F5 and then go back to SOAP UI as soon as it uh, is operating. Okay, it's running. Go back here and just put in simple dot name. Oh, well, not name. Put in the name Bull. And uh, welcome back, sir, Bull. Uh, I had John in there, so let's see John. Okay, and if I put in Mary, uh, which doesn't exist, we don't know you, Mary. Okay, that's your simple web API in uh, Visual Studio .NET Code. And uh, please subscribe and thank you for for watching. There's uh, more videos coming now. I'm much more um, available to create these videos. Thank you. Bye bye.